This is a gorgeous white on white 2020 BMW X5 X Drive 40i. For those of you uh, joining in to my channel for the first time tuning in, watching this video, really appreciate you guys doing so. For those of you regulars who follow me and watch my videos, thank you so much because of you guys and your support is why my channel is alive. And this is why I continue to do these videos. Uh, so those of you uh, joining in for the first time, I would really appreciate it if you guys could uh, like the video if you do uh, subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon for more informative content like this and uh, definitely do comment below of what you like what else you would like to see and as time permits i'll answer those questions or make a video of those uh, if it's required uh, so to start i'm going to show you this car uh, this particular one is a really really special car uh, individual it even has the display key that I'm going to show you right here so that is the display key uh, as a power button on the left here so if I push and hold it in it will start for you there we go so it's starting up the standard key uh, you have your lock button unlock trunk button and the panic button right there so once it starts, there's some information you can gather on that if you haven't seen it. So swipe up to display, to unlock display. And it's showing you now that the vehicle is secured. That means it's locked, windows are closed. So it's connected to the car right now. Swipe right. right. Height control. Right now I have lowered the car because this one has the air suspension. So I have lowered it and it's sitting pretty low looks really nice so for those of you air suspension fans this is aired out right now okay so vehicle information uh, the the range it's going to give you on the full tank so it's showing a 960 kilometer range with a full tank of gas you can set up your uh, uh, next departure time temperature controls so a really neat stuff yeah, you could do with this. So I'm going to put this away because I don't want to accidentally drop it or break it. Uh, it has uh, all the protective film on it. So I'm going to put this away. And then let's focus a bit more on the car. Switch it off again. Just push and hold the power button. And then tap on OK. And it switches off. So I'm gonna do a quick walk around. There's a little bit of sunlight peeking in. It's a nice, uh, it's a cloudy day, but today it's been foggy in the morning. Uh, I'm on the fifth floor of BMW Toronto. The views from here are great. This is our generally our delivery floor, but due to COVID, uh, we take the cars out now, don't do deliveries indoors, but until it's delivered, we do keep the car indoors. So it's nice and clean for you. So this car has been cleaned and sanitized, uh, especially inside and out once again. Now, when I go in the car, I will touch a few things. And after that, I will re-sanitize the car again. Uh, so what I'm doing here, if, you've, if you're tuning into my channel for the first time, I'm gonna do a walk around, a quick walk around of this car. And then I'm gonna get inside and do basically a virtual delivery video right here for the customer picking this car up it's a very high tech car a lot of new tech a lot of new features so 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 she would know exactly how to custom tailor it to her personal preferences also for those viewers watching and maybe thinking of picking up an x5 or just pick one up even it, it will help you as well um, also just in case you're wondering what options are available with it i'll, I'll be going over that so let's walk around, uh, let's gather how it looks in the sunlight. Uh, the exterior paint on this is a mineral white metallic. So gorgeous white metallic paint. Looks very clean, very fresh. Uh, when the sunlight hits it, you can kind of see the metallic chips, uh, like the slight perla sense in the paint. Gorgeous, gorgeous paint. Uh, this one is even opted with the trailer tow hitch, so as you can see below. So 
So it looks gorgeous. Those wheels are also a special order. Individual wheels, 22 inch staggered fitment. Gorgeous wheels. Uh, so if you didn't know you could get those wheels, yes, with an X5, you can get these wheels as well. Uh, so let me read out uh, the standard features that you get with a base X5, even if you didn't get one that was fully loaded as this one. Uh, so let's see what a base X5 gets you. Uh, you would get the remote engine start, 20 inch, uh, all 20 inch wheels with all season run flat tires, leather sports steering wheel, sport automatic transmission with pedal shifters, tire pressure monitor, alarm system, rear view camera, satin aluminum roof rail, satin uh, aluminum window surround, uh, panorama sunroof, sun protection glazing, velour floor mats, electric seats with driver memory, sports seats, leather or dashboard, heat comfort package for the front, aluminum mesh effect trim, auto dimming exterior mirrors, ambient lighting, adaptive full LED headlights, LED fog lights, high beam assistant, active protection, driving assistant, active guard front collision warning, Sirius XM radio tuner uh, over here in Canada, you do get a six month free subscription as well. Uh, Hi-fi sound system, intelligent emergency call, teleservices, connected drive services, connected package professional, Apple CarPlay preparation, BMW Life cockpit professional, BMW Jestic control, anthracite roof liner, X line, cross traffic alert rear, call collision warning with city braking, lane departure warning, blind spot warning, rear collision prevention, and speed limit in full. Whew, that's a lot of features that come standard with an X5. Pick any brand out there that gives you that many standard features. It's gorgeous, it's loaded as it is. Now, this particular customer has really, really good taste. And you'll see that when we get inside of how gorgeous this interior is. But let me read out how this car is packaged. So it does have uh, uh, the premium enhanced package. Uh, which gives you the option for the air suspension. So this customer did pick the air suspension. We have the uh, universal remote control for your garage door, comfort access, soft closed door, side sunshades, heated and cool cup holders, comfort seats front, seat heating front and rear, automatic four zone climate control, park assistance plus with surround view, head up display, Harman Kardon sound system upgrade, BMW drive recorder, uh, which is your using your surround view cameras for uh, basically a dash cam. Uh, then you do have the wireless charging with extended Bluetooth and USB, Wi-Fi hotspot, M Sport package as well as you can see on the car, uh, which gives you the M Sport exhaust system, M Sport brakes, M Sport package, uh, black high gloss roof rails, M leather steering wheel. Uh, M aerodynamics package, high gloss black window surround, and it gives you options for different M specific wheels. And in fact, these are upgraded further to these gorgeous individual uh, wheels. Uh, you, I mean, this car is also packaged with the advanced uh, driver assistance package, which gives you the steering and lane control, evasion assist, cross traffic alert front, active cruise control with stop and go lane keep assistant driving assistant professional and traffic jam assist uh, the adaptive two axle air suspension as i mentioned is packaged on there it does have the trailer tow hitch the display key that i was showing you earlier it even has a sky lounge panoramic panoramic glass sunroof which we'll see inside so with the ambient lighting in the evening times even the euro panorama roof lights up which is just gorgeous uh, this also has the glass application crafted clarity for interior elements which is basically the crystal uh, gear shifter the volume knob the iDrive controller and the engine start stop button has the crystal on it uh, it also has the travel and comfort system the interior trim on this is a fine wood, fine line striped brown, high gloss trim. It even has the massage function for driver and passenger and the laser headlights. Plus, it's upgraded with the high gloss black kidney grills and extended contents. So if you look at the front kidney grills, 
they have been uh, blacked out as well. So again, guys, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous car. Uh, but yeah, let's get inside uh, and then we'll go over some options. But before we do, let me just walk around the car, show you all around, open it up. Some storage underneath as well. How gorgeous this car is. There's some folks up here admiring their uh, Yava Green M4 that they just purchased. Gorgeous. I love the stance, how you can lower it. Obviously, the car would raise it height automatically when you're driving it. Soft closed doors. That's your travel and comfort system. So you can plug in an iPad holder or tablet holder, uh, USB-C charging right next to that, a suit jacket holder, hanger hook, different attachments you can grab for that. So really neat stuff. Your rear heated seats, temperature control, some storage in the armrest, cup holders, bottle holders on the doors, uh, the rear side sunshades, These are also uh, comfort seats. Let me come back to that. Let me shut the hood and we'll get in the car. So these are comfort seats, a lot of adjustments. Uh, if you look here, uh, the support under your knees that can extend out, all automated by just this button right here. Uh, this is to adjust the seat going up, down, tilt, right, to do all that. This is to adjust your backrest. Uh, the top button is to adjust the top half of the backrest to come close to your shoulders or move away from your shoulders. Also, if you move this up, it will adjust the headrest. So that's really cool. Uh, this is your four-way lumbar support. This is to address your side bolsters because these are sports seats. So, I mean, these bolsters right here, they would inflate or deflate to kind of hug you tighter or loosen it. So it depends on your comfort level. Let me just look at this gorgeous stitching. Uh, here are your controls to control the front passenger seats. If you push that and control your seat settings, 
you can actually move the front right seat. Uh, so for someone younger sitting in, doesn't know how to operate the seat, to so someone older who just can't figure it out, you can help them set up your seats. Uh, that's to control your massage seat settings uh, from here, or you can control it from the iDrive as well. See when I push that. Okay, so let's get in. Uh, this is mainly standard stuff. Again, if you if I miss something, I'm um, passing by something, let me know in the comments below. If I'm going too fast, let me know and I'll explain those to you. Uh, call me, message me, email me, and I'll take care of that. I'm just so used to doing these, so I'm not gonna go through too much of the standard stuff, the more newer technical stuff that uh, most people are having a hard time with. I'll just go over that, so you'll have an idea of how to uh, customize the vehicle to your personal settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. So just to go over, that's your crystal shifter right there on the start stop button and the crystal on the iDrive controller and also on the volume knob right there. That's your toggle switch for your air suspension to lower the car or raise the height. So right now it's at the lowest setting already. Uh, does have uh, heated and cool cup holders the wireless charging tray in front of that where the white card is sitting. That is also your uh, digital key. So uh, you can activate that kind of like a credit card style key that you can activate and use as your car key. Is to tap it on the door handle to unlock, come inside, place the key in that tray and start the car. So you could do that. So uh, if you guys have questions more about what these buttons are on the steering wheel, what they do, I have a couple of different videos, so I would recommend watching those. This car does have the advanced driver assistance package. And in that I am actually driving a car on the road using these buttons, using all the driver assistance package tech, showing you what happens to the car. Uh, when certain buttons are pushed and how the car reacts and how it actually drives how the whole advanced driver assistance package works including the traffic jam assist you'll see me at one point where uh, where I, I completely have no hands on the steering while the car is driving itself during a traffic jam so as long as you're at the speed of 60 and below actually below 60 it will engage and assist you there as long as you're looking straight and focused on the road because there's a camera watching you and if you're not watching the road an arm is gonna stick out and slap you across the face and ask you to wake up or focus on driving okay no, I'm just kidding, but that camera is there for your safety as well. Another really cool uh, feature of the advanced driver assistance package is while driving, if you have a medical emergency, uh, the camera is watching you for distress. So you kind of cannot really drive, but you want to pull over, you want to stop. You can actually pull the electronic handbrake right here and the car takes over and will assist you in stopping the car safely. Okay, so really, really neat stuff, guys. Again, if you, everything has terms and conditions apply, you have to use it the proper way. So if you don't understand something or not clear about something, don't just go ahead and try it. Ask me, I'll clarify it for you more. Okay, so let's get into the more technical stuff. Uh, go into this screen right here and set it up. So the car does have gestic control since I really want to lower the volume right now a bit because I'm talking. Uh, it does have gestic controls in the car. So if you look uh, right above over here, uh, right in front here, uh, this, this glass here, this tinted glass here, there's actually a camera there watching your finger movement so as long as you're below that in this vicinity right here it will recognize your finger movement so some easy gestures are point your finger to the screen and full clockwise circle that's your volume up anti-clockwise volume down 
So really cool stuff. Obviously you do have the volume controls on your steering wheel and a nice volume knob right there. Uh, but you could do that. How cool is this, right? Uh, okay, so another gesture is, say I don't want to listen to the music. I'm trying to hear someone, I can mute it by doing these two fingers, extending the two fingers to the screen, do that. So mute, and then again, unmute. This gesture is customizable. I can change it to do quite a few different things, which when we get to the menu, I'll show you. Another gesture is, let's unmute it. Another gesture is I wanna skip this track or go to the next station. I take my thumb, point it up, and then point it right, and there we go. So next track or next station, previous track or previous station. Whether you're listening to music from your phone or or from the car to a radio station or something. Right now we tune into Sirius XM satellite radio. Simple as that. Uh, when your phone is paired via Bluetooth and you want to take a call, you're just going to point to the screen, you answer the call. If you don't want to take the call, you pull your fingers up and swipe right and that would cancel the call for you. Uh, another cool gesture is, yeah, you can uh, set up your home address. So anytime you're driving and you're lost, you can do this gesture. So, so open fingers, close fists, open fingers. And then that will start taking you home as well. Okay. Some really cool features. Uh, you can further, I mean, preset your home address to any of these settings right here. One through eight. Uh, preset any of your favorite phone numbers or favorite address or something else. Anything you like to refer into the iDrive screen or certain menu or something. You can preset that there. So it's not just for uh, radio stations. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, let's go into this one by one. Um, before we start anything, let's check if the drive recorder is activated. So you'll basically coming to home screen, go all the way down to apps, uh, install apps, move right. And let's see where the drive recorder is. I see it right there, tap on that. So it's not been activated. So I'm gonna activate it for them before delivery. So let's check mark this and go ahead and start setup assistant i'm gonna trigger for the trigger i'm gonna use manually and automatically as well uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue i'm gonna keep it to the max uh, trigger uh, this is before an incident so the trigger 20 seconds prior and then hit continue and then 20 seconds this is the max for later as well continue i explain that in a second what that means Okay, so we set up and okay, simple as that, you're all set up. So what that is, is you can get a maximum 40 second length uh, recording using your surround view camera. So all four cameras on the car. Uh, by trigger, I mean, if you do have a collision, it will pre-record or pre-save the 20 seconds prior to that incident and then 20 seconds after so you'll have a total 40 second recording you also do have an option to then transfer it over to a usb flash drive a memory stick and then you know show it to the cops or to the insurance or whatever have you or keep it for your records it will also save it within the car the car has a tons of memory which it will save it there okay so let's go back into driver call show you exactly what happens on the back end there uh, so if I go on the settings here, see how I set it up. So start up as a recording, allow recording length before trigger 20 seconds, after trigger 20 seconds. Camera selection, I've selected all. Um, or you can choose front and rear, front uh, and rear or, or all. So it means the two side cameras and the front and rear. But I would keep it at all so you'll get a uh, 360 recording manually and automatically which means so automatic trigger is during an incident it will record it now if you want to manually record something someone messing with you or something something happening around you you can manually record it uh, by by using this button right here oopsie so this uh camera button right here if you push and hold it for three seconds uh, it will start showing you start recording and you can record it. So even if you're driving through a scenic route, you will be able to do that if you want to capture that. Okay, so some really cool stuff built into your car. 
it's way better than installing a separate aftermarket uh, dash cam system there okay so let's get out of this uh, go back to the home screen so we're gonna set up uh, go through this whole menu right here uh, let's see if you guys can see it there we go so let's go under uh, media uh, so right now we're using Sirius XM. Uh, one other thing, guys, uh, for, for the customer picking up or for any of you who just picked up a car in Canada, you do get six months free subscription with your new car. There is a high chance maybe in a week or so after you start using it, it'll go away. You can activate it. All you have to do is call them, tell them that, you know, I have six months free subscription. They will activate it. How you would do it, you'll end up at channel 001, which is your preview channel. So once you're on there, you're gonna push on the options button, which uh, I'll show you right here, options button. And over here, you can scroll down to show subscription info, click on that. Over here, it shows you your radio ID and the 800 number to call. So give them your radio ID and ask them, they'll verify who you are and just ask them to activate it. And it's simple as that, it'll be activated. Okay, options here are FM, radio, AM radio, Spotify. Obviously, if you're using Apple CarPlay, Android, uh, sorry, Apple CarPlay, you can use Spotify off your phone or you can log in here directly and, and listen to Spotify from the car. Okay, so using your Spotify account to do that. Music collection is your stored music in the car because the car has a lot of built-in memory. So you can plug in a flash drive and transfer your MP3 files here and use that. Uh, and then you have your Bluetooth audio, which would be your phone or a music device you connected or something like that. Screen mirroring, mobile devices, personalized menu to customize it. So it's got a pretty simple self-explanatory. Uh, COM means short form for communication. So let's go into that and make sure Apple CarPlay is activated. So go into mobile devices, uh, go under settings right here. And yes, Apple CarPlay is accurate. Make sure your Wi-Fi is also activated. That's how it connects wirelessly to your car. Okay, so, and you also do have an internet connection in the car. You get a trial version of three gigabytes or three months, whichever comes first. Once that expires, you can subscribe to further for your car or just get more data for your phone and use that as a Wi-Fi hotspot, okay? Uh, so let's get out of here, go on the nav, which is your navigation. A lot of customer tailoring you could do here too, but let's go into map settings. It's perspective view. This is the view that you're looking at. So I can uh, zoom in, zoom out, and all 3D kind of rendering of buildings populate up. Completely zoom out. I'm using the iDrive control, the rotating knob here on my right. I, obviously, I can touch the screen and do this as well. I'm just trying to avoid touching more things and avoiding uh, fingerprints as well. To see how cool the maps is. This is the best maps I've ever used in any auto auto vehicle out there. So, uh, so yeah, looks like uh, maps is all set up. Um, you have different modes. You can do facing north or direction of travel as well. I like perspective modes. So I've kept that and i've check marked all the notifications there as well you can obviously customize it to your personal settings uh, let's go into car this is a lot of the brains of the car right here so this is major of the settings so let's go to the settings uh, settings general settings uh, so while i do this keep a note where i'm going what i'm doing and if you want to custom tailor something to your personal needs this is where you would need to come so data and time, I've selected automatic time settings. So this will take care of your uh, daylight savings and all that good stuff. Uh, day, uh, form, date format as well, you can change to your preference. It's right now set to day, month, and year. Uh, system language set to English, you have Espanol. And uh, French, uh, personal assistant is your wake word. So wake word right now is set to hello bmw or hey bmw and the car so you see how it just activates we'll talk to the car and if, in fact you know what let's do it now since we're here this all i always tend to forget uh so since we are here you can yes talk to your car make sure this thing is check marked so if you haven't done so you won't be able to so this is check mark you'll be able to talk to your car 
So let's try something. Uh, hey, BMW. Let's get out of this menu. Hey, BMW. 11 Sunlight Park Road. All right. Our next destination is 11 Sunlight Park Road, Toronto, Ontario. So it's as easy as just say the magic word and then say the address. Uh, that's it. You don't have to say, hey, direct me to this or direct me. You can say that, but you don't really need to. So you're driving somewhere, you're lost, you got a text message or something, or someone just called you, hey, meet me at this address. Just say the address and it will take you there. Uh, so to cancel guidance, you change your mind, you can just again talk to the car. Hey, BMW, cancel guidance. I've ended the guidance. Right, as simple as that. The cool, there's some other cool features where, see, you're hungry or looking for a coffee shop, you can talk to your car and ask that as well. Even simple things as what the what is the weather. So let's try that actually. Hey BMW, what's the weather in Niagara Falls? Currently, it is sunny in Niagara Falls with a temperature of 25 degrees. All right, so I'm going to go back out of that. So as simple as that, you're planning a road trip, <coughs> about to drive somewhere, and you can ask for for the uh, weather there. Or you can ask for, hey, BMW, find me a restaurant close to me, or you know, find me a coffee shop, and it'll do that for you. Even simple things as, let's try one more cool thing. So guys, watch the temperature right now. It's at 21 degrees. Uh, it's set to auto. Okay, let's do this. Hey, BMW. I am hot. No problem. I'm lowering the temperature, so it will be more comfortable shortly. So... I am sitting on the driver's seat. It picks up my microphone and that's what it does for me. It changes the temperature to 19 degrees to make it uh, more colder for my side. Uh, let's try something else. Uh, hey BMW, vitalize me. All right, I have activated the vitality program. All right, notice again, the temperature dropped further to 18 degrees. It will also fluctuate airspeed uh, to kind of wake me up. The ambient lighting color, if you notice, the strip in front of me was lilac. It's now changed to green. Music is a little more lively, upbeat. Okay, uh, let's try something else. Hey, BMW, relax me. Program. All right, so not only that, the sunshade, uh, panorama sunroof size shade is also shutting down. Kind of just trying to calm me down, relax me. Music has changed to more relaxing music. The ambient lighting changed to, uh, I believe, orange. Temperature has gone up to 23 degrees to warm me up, to kind of relax me. Uh, let's end that for now. So I'll go back to my original setting. The shade above me is opening and you can see the light come in. All right, so yeah, you can talk to your car. The more you talk to your car, the better and better it does. Obviously, I'm sure there are some limitations to what it, what you can talk about. Uh, but you can see it's very easy. Even the ambient lighting color. Okay, I have lilac on set up right now, but I want to change it. So let's see. Hey, BMW. Hey BMW, change ambient lighting to blue. Okay, I've selected the lighting color blue with contouring blue. So simple as that, right? I'm gonna change it back to lilac. Hey BMW, change ambient lighting to lilac. I've selected the lighting color lilac with contour and lilac. All 
All right, so guys, again, if you have more questions about this, uh, do write me in the comments below, ask me, and I'll be happy to help. All right, so let's continue with the car. Uh, let's see, we were in settings, and we were in general settings. We did set up personal assistant where you could talk to your car. Uh, unit sound setting is for your music setting. So this has the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system. It sound it has the Logic 7 surround sounds amazing in here so this is where you would custom tailor your treble bass and all that good stuff uh just the controls that i was mentioning earlier so function assignment one for that uh for this jester right so you can uh you can customize it so let's see all the options you have so you can do it for no function or mute unmute or mute or play control display on off which is this screen that you're looking at uh, guidance to home, recent calls, notifications, voice control, music recognition. So a lot of different things you can select. The other gesture that's customizable is this gesture that I showed you earlier. Right now will be set factory settings of guidance to home, but you can do again, no function, mute, unmute, control display on off, guidance to home, recent calls, notifications, voice control, music recognition. So you can customize these. Okay, touchpad is referring to the iDrive controller, which is this round knob. So it's also a touchpad. I can use this to write alphabets and numbers on it as well. So it's set up for all these things. You can custom tailor it. Driver attention camera refers to this camera right here. So if you see it's check mark, it's active. It's gonna check for your attention. It's good to have it on for safety. Uh, pop up so for your seat settings and things uh, it'll pop up on the screen show you what you're doing and obviously you can uncheck something that you don't want to pop up okay uh, getting started is like unwrapping a new phone and setting it up from scratch it's the same thing here we are going through that setup so going to set up uh, trailer mode again if you're towing something you want to check mark this is going to assist you in quite a bit way uh, speed warning um, you can set up speed warning if you know see these cars they drive really nice they're good luxury cars sometimes you don't even realize you're going too fast so you can set up a speed warning it'll warn you let you know that you know what you're going too fast at a certain speed and it'll ding you at that time so you can slow it down fatigue and focus alert I set it to sensitive so if you're serving a bit too much, it, it will guide you that, you know what, you're serving too much, maybe take a coffee break. Uh, reset trip data, so to plan your trip, data privacy. This is important, guys, to make sure to keep it all services, including analysis. You ideally want your phone app to work sync with your car. See the options it gives you. Safeguard Mobility, My BMW app and Customer Portal Remote 3D View. Uh, BMW Connected Learning, Traffic Info, Online Search Results, Parking Info, Online Alternative Routes, Learning Maps. A lot, 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 lots of useful information. You ideally want that. So you want your car to help you, right? So let's keep that on. Uh, mobile devices. Again, we did go through that, set it up. Wireless charging tray. So if you do leave your phone behind in that tray there with the white card. And that's your wireless charging tray it will charge your phone wirelessly as long as your phone is equipped to do so uh it will it will remind you that you left your phone behind if you if you leave it there remote software upgrade reset vehicle data stuff like that and let's go to driving mode so you can custom tailor your sport individual or eco pro modes uh, exterior lighting, uh, check marked all and set up your uh, pathway lighting to 20 seconds. Again, you can change that uh, to different time settings, uh, 20, 30, 40 or even shorter. Uh, this is basically when you lock your car, your headlights would stay on for 20 seconds in the evening time to illuminate your driveway for safer driving. I mean, for uh, to just illuminate your driveway for, for a safer walk to your home. Uh, driver assistance, uh, let's see, safety and warning, uh, front collision warning early, front collision warning early, side collision warning is on, lane departure warning is set to early, with steering intervention, active blind spot detection is set to early, 
uh, with steering intervention as well. So everything is set up to its safest setting. Uh, driving, let's see, speed limit assistance, uh, set it up to show current limit. Uh, you can set it up to adjust uh, manually. Warn when speeding, excess speed display, will show you that as well. Steering assistance, uh, automatic lane change, drive attention camera. Again, automatic lane change, all these things I use in my video, so do watch that. Uh, and you will be able to know how your advanced driver assistance stuff can help you. Some really, really cool tech there. Okay, so display assisted driving view when driver assistance is active, which will which is uh, activated right here. When you're using it, you'll see how that works for you. Uh, parking and maneuvering. So this car can parallel and perpendicular park itself. It even has a backup assistant. So automatic PDC means your park distance control, uh, your, your sensors basically. Uh, active PDC with brake intervention. So if the car notices any movement around it while you're parking or the car is parking itself, it will actively brake itself uh, to avoid a collision or hitting someone, a pet or kid, a cyclist, whatever have you. Automatic parking, alert if parking space detected, is active, cross traffic warning, panorama view, GPS base, volume for the sensors. Okay, we'll keep it at the default half mark. Uh, uh, steering wheel feedback is set to strong. Once you get used to that, you can lower the intensity. I like it strong. Uh, light elements is referring to exactly what's shown there. Uh, lights on the steering wheel right above that uh, plus minus there on this side right here. Uh, displays, let's see. So head-up display, the car does have head-up display. Um, you can adjust the, the brightness, the height. You can rotate it slightly to your personal preference and choose what you want it to display. Even in sport displays, the display will change slightly. It'll show you RPM kind of there in the display. So that's active for you. Uh, instrument panel is again referring to to this screen right here uh, right now it's the central display you can check to switch it off uh, keep a map view they keep route preview uh, or the assisted uh, driving view which I've selected since this car has that feature okay so you can come here and customize these things this is the reason I'm showing you all of this um, hence the virtual delivery uh, control display is this screen that we're looking at all you can do here is to turn off the display switch it back on or brightness at night how bright you want it to be driving mode view is selected so when you do switch between different driving modes which is referring to these buttons right here uh, the sport comfort eco pro the display here would change so that's your regular comfort mode when you go to sport you notice it goes red and then if you go to eco pro it'll go all blue for you all right so let's continue on displays is done doors and access uh so tailgate you can adjust the tailgate height here if you have a low roof line you want to you want the trunk to stop the tailgate uh, to stop a bit lower you can do that but be mindful if you do that you could bump your head so please watch out for that i've done it i've learned the hard way so watch out for that bmw digital key which is referring to that credit card style key there uh, so to activate this is where you would come place the key in that tray and then go to bmw digital key and then activate digital key i believe i have already activated let's check it yeah, so I've already activated, so it won't allow me to activate it again. So it's already active. Uh, comfort access is your keyless entry basically into the car. Key stay in your pocket, in your back. Grab the door handle, it'll unlock. And when you shut it, tap it, it'll lock. Uh, but I've also set it up further where in this car, when you walk close to the car, it will unlock itself. When you walk away, it will lock itself. Okay, so personal settings here. I've also selected, notice here, fold mirrors in when locked. So when the car is locked, it will fold in. But winter is coming in in a couple of months. Uh, I would highly recommend unchecking that. So come here and uncheck that in winter. 
uh, because you really don't want the motor to stress because if there's snow and ice getting in there that build up it's too much strain on the motor to fold or unfold during winter months so you want to leave it unchecked and you can obviously manually operate it too from from this button right here that button is to fold and unfold your mirrors Okay, so let's go to uh, interior lighting. This is where you would change your ambient lighting color manually. Obviously, you can. You saw earlier, you can speak to your car and do it, but different color options right here. So bronze, bronze and white, orange, orange and white, white, blue, blue and white, green, green and white, lilac, lilac and white. So a lot of different colors to select from dynamic lighting. You can also dim it for night driving. I love it nice and bright. That's why I've unchecked it, but if you want it slightly dimmed out, sure, come here and check mark that. Obviously you can use the iDrive control that I am using, or you can just tap on that and it will select it for you. Uh, let's go to seat comfort. So driver seat, passenger seat, seat and armrest. So they would heat up as well, the armrest. Uh, let's do driver seat so I can select my massage from here as well massage level is three and I have whole body activation so while I'm doing this video I'm enjoying this beautiful massage or so relaxing okay so tons of options here how you want your massage to be <laughs> right and same stuff you could you could activate for the passenger here as well so seat massage if you see it's off right now the lighting on the door is off so i'm going to check mark it come on uh, at level three and look the lights come on so at level three and i can again select whole body activation or anything else you would like climate control this is another good one guys if you want your car to be able to remote engine start from your key this is where you come, go to the home screen, go to car, uh, come under climate control and go all the way down where you see preconditioning and ventilation, check, select that. And here you'll see remote engine start. So select that. And then you wanna check mark this. Once you tap on that, it will give you a little warning label. So make sure you select okay. So then uh, it, will, it will activate this feature for you. Uh, what else key buttons and settings so customize to uh, when you unlock your car it will unlock only the driver's door for safety all of the doors stay locked you can go ahead and select here to all doors if you prefer that and also when you unlock your trunk it will uh, do the upper tailgate only you can select both tailgates if you like Again, keep in mind, if both your tailgates are open, you just have to use one button to close both. So the button on top of the top tailgate, uh, just use that and, and it will close both panels, okay? Uh, so I guess that's about it for here. You have some experience modes in the car that you can use as well. Executive, expressive, well-being, some different modes, uh, personal settings, how you would like those set up, what works under those. Some really cool stuff. Again, play with your car. If you have more questions, please, uh, uh, this is to you, the customer picking up the car, please uh, call me, email me, uh, write me in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Uh, you will also, uh, at, at least a day prior or before, you'll receive an email from BMW Connected make sure you do register uh, get the app uh, create a login id and password then you come in your car right over here and the driver profiles you'll go and add new profile and then using the same login id and password info so then your phone app will be paired with your car will be in sync with your car so you'll be able to do a lot of stuff from your phone as well uh, I hope I've been able to answer all the questions again for those of you who are new to the channel uh, tuning in for the first time watching this video I do mostly these virtual delivery and walk around videos or some fun videos with BMW tech uh, please I would really appreciate that like button right there so press on that like button subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon for more informative content like this 
and do comment below of what you liked about this video what else you would like to see in a different video perhaps a different vehicle uh, something I've I missed here or went or too fast you know give you a better explanation I'd be happy to do so and uh, always yeah do remember to use your heated and cool cup holders right there okay so let's switch off the engine go out of the car and I'll try and remote engine start it and see how that works Right, so I walked away from the car and the car auto locked itself. Uh, so to show you, let's see a better angle with some better lighting. Uh, here we go. All right, so key is in my hands. Uh, the BMW logo is basically the lock button. So you push on that three times really quick. One, two, three and then let go and that's how you use remote engine start now say you change your mind you don't want to go in the car you can switch it off the exact same way so again the lock button the bmw logo one two three and let go and the car switches off for you all right guys so very very easy to use and again, sun is shining nice and bright on this paint. Look at that gorgeous mineral white metallic. And I love those wheels. These are my favorite uh, BMW X5 wheels. Look how amazing this paint is. I'm so glad she picked this color and she has amazing taste. Uh, here, look at a nice close up there. See how gorgeous this paint is. All right, so this is where I'm going to say bye and see you guys on the next video. Uh, would really, really appreciate a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, support uh, me, please. Uh, support my channel. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. And let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see. Uh, take care, guys.